Right. Hi everyone. Thank you for being here today. Today is Earth Day, the 50th year anniversary. Happy Mother Earth Day. Happy Mother Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Earth Day. Yay. Earth Day. And thank you for participating in this you know, ceremony. And we're going to cover some important topics. Exciting topic for Awaken One and the Stasis. Discover power of one. Well, let's get started. Oh, interesting uh, transition here. I didn't know that this is what they're going to do. All right. Look. So, for those who don't know me, my name is Makiko, known as Reiki Lab. Hi, Diane. People are still joining. Um, I am a healer and I work with the people who have a similar or same mission, which is Guru Dan. Hi, Dan. Hello there. Hello, everybody. Hey, Dan. Hello. So great. Uh, and the people who are just joining, please do settle yourself into the space. And Dan and I will do our best to anchor our energy and sending this secure line you know, among us all, so that the best information and the right frequency, right? Only the right frequency is gonna go through you. Okay. So I just kind of wanna pose here and then ask a question. How many times in a day do you connect with our planet Mother Earth? <sighs> Yeah, let's see. Well, first of all, what do you mean by connect, right? A lot of things, time, you know, people don't um, don't consciously connect, but you are actually connecting. For example, you kind of admire the weather, sunrise, or think of the plastic, yeah? How this is gonna be the cycle. Or the gratitude or thankfulness toward for example, toilet paper, right? Where is this thing coming from? The resources we use, consume, such as food, or admiring those plants life, or a little creature outside. So, well, you could kind of ask yourself, how many times do I connect with Mother Earth consciously? Or oh, it's, um, you know, such a routine you have actually own, you know, ritual or like a ceremony to celebrate Mother Earth, kind of between just you and Mother Earth, a special time. And how many of you, at least once a day, you connect with Mother Earth? Or maybe at least once a week? I would say once a week. Once a week, okay. All right. Thank you for the feedback. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, I guess uh, well, frequently I suppose, but I but it's brief, but it's like brief moments. Mhm. Mm mhm. When I do my meditations in the morning and evening, I thank Mother Earth before oh, wow. I start. Wow, that's beautiful. That's very really beautiful. beautiful. That's a good really ritual. Beautiful. Yes release the negativity to her and let her transform it to love and positivity. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. Anybody else? It's a hard birthday. May as well say something, right? <laughs> I go for walks every day in nature. It's in the woods. So I'd say every day. Wow. That's beautiful. See, that is correct, right? People may not realize how often they actually connect with Mother Earth. Now, if you do it in a consciously, right, for awareness, it amplify that connection. Uh, anybody else like to say something? Like, you know, how many times in a day or how many times do you think you connect with Mother Earth? Um, maybe once or twice. 
Okay. I mean, I mean, once outdoors, but in, inside also, you know, with um, with some stones. Yes. Yes. We're definitely much deeper into the crystal and the earth connection in our 830. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. So um, interesting you mentioned the crystals, right? You connect it. You don't need to go even outside to connect deeply with Mother Earth. Just going to uh, give you a little tips on a um, oh, little wisdom on the crystals. The crystal, as you know, came from the deeper inside, you know, uh, from uh, Mother Earth. And they are a being, the collectives store a lot of information of not just a history but subconscious part of a human collective as well as the mental field of mother earth so it is a mind of mother earth so when we hold a crystal right if you are a very good conduit to that you'll be able to be in touch with mother earth and mental field how beautiful is that? Well, absolutely, Jeffrey, you'll be able to connect inside through crystal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was beautiful. Um, my guess is that you guys connect frequently. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you won't be here, <laughs> okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And some of you uh, not only connected with Mother Earth, but you know, beyond um, and far bigger. Uh, you could tell from the name. Um, so then we may go from there a little bit, you know, more than, uh, you know, if, if you want to, you could go even beyond. But let's uh, stay with Mother Earth for now. So here are some of the picture, right? Kind of the people connect differently with Mother Earth. So you may resonate well with one photo or one image than others. Try to get some pulse from the participants, right? Which one kind of resonate most or kind of, you know, go toward? I'm a recycler. Yeah, recycler. Okay, oh, Dave, would love everything. to hear you. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm tiger. Tiger. Mm hmm. I like the, uh, the the open field and the the mountain. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The nature, yes. I'm the guy in the grass on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> he told her yes. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. So it, it is in a sense, yeah, people have a different, you know, gravitation or, you know, the way, different way to connect. Uh, it's interesting, no one said about those um, several planets, you know, and things like that. Um, you know, those are also, you know, some people connect in this way as well. So thinking of Mother Earth, Happy Mother Earth Day, we like to uh, talk about the role of one from the perspective of our planet. So our connection to our planet Mother Earth and then how this sacred role of one come, come into play. Uh, have any of you never heard of role of one? Mm -mm. I haven't. Sacred, sacred law of one. Uh, vaguely, but not really that connected. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's story fine. Um, what? So, uh, before I go to the next slide, the law of one, it might be a little bit different from sacred law of one, but in a nutshell, everything is connected. And then you've been seen exposed to the different things. So we're going to go over this um, in a later slides in a more in a fun way. 
but I'd like to focus on our relation to our planet Mother Earth today. I love the quote by Rumi. That's awesome. And this is, yeah, definitely. This is one of them. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. How many times we felt very small or just a statistic? And we have to sometimes remind ourselves how great being we are. Yet, some statement, things we exposed to, sometimes make us feel small. And this quote, you know, bring you right back to who you are. How different you feel you are just a drop in the ocean versus you are the entire ocean. Yeah, those are the great people who can be able to inspire many, yeah, from, yeah, from the deep inside. You know, something ignite our being, resonate well with things like this. The sacred law of one is a pre-ancient teaching on understanding everything, which is all. So modern way to say it, theory of everything, right? All things are made of intelligent energy and are a part of the all, which is one, our body, mind, soul, and spirit are directly connected at both seen and unseen levels. From a rock that sit on the hill to a galaxy, seen beer, telescope, or energy system are built to interact with these things. Nothing mystical about it. Nothing mystical about it. Oh, the swamp is a mystical place, all right. It's sacred. I reached enlightenment right here under the Banyan Grove tree. I heard it calling me, just like you did. Sure you did. It seems real chatty. See, this whole swamp is actually just one tree spread out over miles. Branches spread, then sink and take root, and then spread some more. One big living organism, just like the entire world. I get how the tree is one big thing, but the whole world? Sure. You think you're any different from me, or your friends, or this tree? If you listen hard enough, you can hear every living thing breathing together. You can feel everything growing. We are all living together, even if most folks don't act like it. We all have the same roots, and we are all branches of the same tree. But what did our visions mean? In the swamp, we see visions of people we've lost, people we loved, folks we think are gone. But the swamp tells us they're not. We're still connected to them. Time is an illusion. Yeah, the time is an illusion. Well, I'm not sure how many people watch Avatar or know of this anime. This is a deeply spiritual animation. So if you ever have a chance, please do watch. Or this is a great gift for the children. So uh, make a note, they sell on the CD, and I think I believe I watch four or five times. Mm -hmm. And I do have a DVD. <laughs> it is a wonderful anime. So they kind of discuss about uh, Law of One, and I think this is uh, another one that ways they show you how to connect.
so if you don't know this uh, anime, it may not make too much sense. Um, but the whole um, idea I wanted to uh, present here is basically how they connect, right, and receive the information. A banyan tree is very sacred, especially people in India know this. And um, yeah, Dan knew an uh, amazing uh, banyan tree in California. Um, I'm sure the Sarah as well, but you actually be able to receive the information because like this tree, it, it is like a network, a grid system, right? And a tree communicate each other. The sum tree is a mother tree or a mother board. It is a center of the correction, like a storage facility. Be able to correct and store all the information. So what they are doing is basically receiving the information, going to the particular hotspot, right? Central allocation or store, storage pillar, and be able to retrieve, uh, retrieve the um, information they're seeking through the frequency, the set frequency. So, and a similar idea, the law of one, energetically, we are all connected. Some of you may have heard of 100 monkey experiments. I might be quoted something slightly different. Um, it was observed in a, the, the monkey who live in a different island, who has a, no way to communicate each other because they're separated by the ocean. The one, a baby monkey in a one island discovered how to, um, how to, I believe, uh, clean certain things and, and uh, be able to show that to the uh, elder uh, monkey. And they all adapt the little discovery made by this baby monkey. But uh, interestingly, within a certain amount of years, every single monkey in the island, the different who are living far away from the island, start to do the similar behavior. And scientists took it this in a um, very interesting, you know, thought is very interesting, this peculiar phenomena. And eventually the discovery of so-called grid or ley line. It's been known uh, in a scientific, scientific field as well as a spiritual uh, collective and then also the much more um, at other organizations who actually utilize that also. But this is a one way to show how we are connected energetically in a multi level, in a multi layers. So, this is a greater mystery. And we're going to talk about, in particular, our connection to our planet. So, our connection oh, yeah. to. Uh, go ahead. That pic oh, hold on one second. That picture's so funny. I just did that yesterday with the with the wish thing. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And I posted it on my Facebook. That's wild. Wow. See, we're connected. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. This is also like aha moment. Oh my gosh, there's been so many today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. So I, I I love dandelion. I mean, it's just love. I think it's one of the perfect, the most spiritual plant, and you could learn so much. Uh, unlock so many mystery of the universe. Just you know, observing you know this this beautiful beautiful. The people call it weed and try to kill it. I mean, look what happened after after all that. But anyway, I don't want to go there right now. But yeah, thank you for sharing it. That's so, awesome. <laughs> yeah, our connection with Mother Earth is a subtle at the time, but it becomes more real when we mm -hmm. embrace her with joy. So just like, you know, what she just shared, I don't know, the picture of her, you know, how joyful, make a wish, right? So relation, let's talk about the secret of the power of one, right? It actually is in you. You are relation to the earth or Mother Earth and beyond. They actually stored and located within your energetic field. So, for those who who know chakras, um, please let me know if you, and no one, if anybody, never heard of the word chakra. 
the chakra is an energetic center, most often people refer to as a physical location of chakra, which is way around alongside of a spine. Chakra is um, the word believed to be originally come from the three word sha, ka, and ra. So it was originally sha, ka, ra became eventually became chakra, uh, whatever that around that line. <laughs> so sha and ka uh, represent a pre ancient a word of light and sound. Ra, R-A, is a unity. So when you bring the light and sound come together, you become a trinity, triway form. So it's not Vibeka anymore. It becomes Tribeka, which is eternal living light formula. And, and every time it becomes everlasting living light. So this is a system that well, Shakara represents. This is why it, most of the time the chakra is um, lined up through our spine. Because that is a central part we come together, which is Ra. Ra also by itself indicate a center of a body because that is a, a central part of it. Everything coming together, right? The Ra is coming together and neutrality and the oneness. So that is a, a sound of Ra. So Shaka Ra, right? So there is a Shaka Ra or Chakra within our physical body system but it's also outside of our physical body. It's called morphogenic field. It's a form forming temperate. So those are the chakra beyond chakra seven, which is on our body. Some of the chakra go beyond a higher number. You don't need to know this exactly, um, but there's a chakra, which is a morphogenic chakra, located below our feet. It's about six inch below, so just, just about the below, um, you know, below our feet. That is the template of our morphogenic field that has a direct connection to our planet Mother Earth. So every time, if you really want to fly, you don't look up, you actually look below. If you wanna go beyond this system of Mother Earth, you still have to connect through the core of the Earth where the old entire blueprint stored and still alive. Well, this is a very good point to kind of meditate on. Okay, I may be able to connect with Mother Earth through my energetic field. You connect through the six inch bureau and go all the way down to the center of the Earth. Okay, so let's, um, I think we still have a plenty of time. Is that right, Dan? Or did I speak too much already? Uh, um, yeah, no, you got a few more minutes, go ahead. A few more minutes, okay. So we're gonna kind of experience together. I hope you are in a safe and comfortable space right now. If it's not, just please find a space and kind of, you know, find a position that you feel most comfortable with. Ideally, close to the ground, And hopefully you're not like on a high rise building. <laughs> if it is, it will take a little longer for you. Okay. You ready? Okay, let's take a couple of deep breaths in and out to settle our energy. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale into the third eye. 
Rest your awareness within the third eye and exhale gently. Now inhale into the third eye. Grab the third eye and exhale down to your heart. Visualize your third eye now, one with your heart chakra. Let's do it one more time. Inhale into the third eye. Hold and grab and exhale down to the heart. Visualize as clear as possible the third eye is now merging with your heart. Now your brain is left behind and your third eye and heart will travel through your consciousness. Have inhale into your heart now. Hold, grab, and exhale down below your feet. <laughs> Visualize your heart and third eye chakra going through your spine and down to your feet. Let's do one more time. Inhale into your heart. Hold, grab, exhale down. <sighs> if you have a tingling sensation, like a tailbone or a palm or the bottom of your feet, you are doing pretty good. If you don't have the sensation, it is okay. Do a couple more times. <sighs> Hold and exhale. <sighs> your conscious energy follow your breath. So follow and focus. Now rest your awareness below your feet, about six inch below your feet. Visualize there is a disc below you horizontally rotating just like a BR DVD or CD plate. Now, the disc and your chakras, both third eye and heart, are one now. Visualize your chakra in the center. The beautiful silver disc is rotating around. Focus back on your chakra again. You're gonna inhale and hold, grab the chakra, now toss all the way down to the core of the Mother Earth. Ready? Inhale, grab your chakras and bring them down to the core of Mother Earth. <sighs> Visualize and follow the chakra going down, hit the core of the earth and make some noise, the tone. And watch it go all the way in the center and find the space, the middle of the core of the earth. Stay there as long as you can. If you don't feel like you just done something like that, you could simply repeat the breath. Inhale, grab, and exhale down. <sighs> Follow the energy. Every single one of us has a sacred spot in the core of the Mother Earth that it is your launching point. From there, you truly go anywhere you wish. Before you go all over the places, I want you to find a spot and remember all the sensation and feeling you receive in the core of Mother Earth. This is a heart, heart. This is everything stored. 
your energy bodies, your reality field, your incarnations, the history, the past, and some of your futures. So next time you connect with Mother Earth, think and visualize the space you have. And feel the loving, harmonious energy that continuously flowing eternal living life energy, the living light that continuously flow through the core of the earth to your soul, your soul matrix, which directly connect back to your over soul, your greater family. So feel the sensation Embrace the vibration. Some of you will feel and receive the message in a form of tone and sound. Some of you receive in a way of oscillation, which is right. Some of you hear some voice, have a more clear vision. Make yourself feel home. You may bring your crystal with it. You may be able to decorate your place. This is your place, the sacred place. Your direct connection to Mother Earth. I will leave you here. Spend as long as you need. When you want to come out, simply breathe in. Bring all the chakra back to the original position and breathe in and out. Send gratitude to Mother Earth. Send gratitude to you your presence, your mission, your soul purpose. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here with us today.